Man, I love Phoenix, man. Um, honestly, I'm gonna continue playing hard for Phoenix. I'm gonna keep repping Phoenix like I always been repping Phoenix, and I'm here. I'm happy. Any thoughts about tomorrow night facing your old team? There's no thoughts at all. DeAndre spent a lot of time though in Phoenix, drafted by them. Is there, how can there not be? A I don't want to talk about Phoenix. Yeah. They told me I was going to talk about the game I played yesterday. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I thought we was talking about the game I played yesterday. Uh. <laughs> DeAndre Ayton hates Phoenix. <laughs> wow. Much, much, much later. DA proved nothing. <laughs> DA proved himself nothing. All right. That's a good segue right there. Let's talk about DeAndre Ayton. And if you missed the clip from earlier, I'll just play it again as Vision Plasma says, Domin... Dominic is greater than dominating. Let's just replay the clip from earlier. Man, I love Phoenix, man. Um, honestly, I'm gonna continue playing hard for Phoenix. I'm gonna keep repping Phoenix like I always been repping Phoenix, and I'm here. I'm happy. Any thoughts about tomorrow night facing your old team? There's no thoughts at all. DeAndre spent a lot of time though in Phoenix, drafted by them. Is there, how can there not be? A I don't want to talk about Phoenix. Yeah. They told me I was going to talk about the game I played yesterday. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I thought we was talking about the game I played yesterday. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> the first comment, or not comment, the first thought I thought when I saw that video of Aiden was how stubborn that is. And I really want to keep repeating the word stubborn. You know, you don't have to answer every question the media asks you. I get it. And maybe a small part of me get guesses why I understand why you said, I want to talk about the game yesterday. But like, apparently somebody from the Blazers media told him that there would be no Suns related questions. But you, you have to think if you're DeAndre Ayton that these questions were going to be asked eventually. And I don't know if Aiton said anything or not. Like I'm checking my Twitter right now, sort of. I don't know if Aiton has said anything. Did it feel weird going against your former team tonight or was it, was it, was it fine out there? No, no weirdness at all. Bruh. It's just so stubborn of him. You know what I mean? And I even put a tweet joking out saying, like, DeAndre Ayton after the game is going to say, I don't want to talk about Phoenix. You know, like, it's true. Like, I feel like he's going to probably, I, I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying, though? He's just stubborn. And DeAndre Ayton, at least basketball-wise, and the way that he's talked to the media, I'm not saying he's, like, immature as, like, a father, because he is a dad. But, like, as a basketball player, DeAndre Ayton has always been immature, in my personal opinion. You know, there's been younger Suns players, past and present, and even younger players in the league now, that I feel are way more mature basketball-wise than DeAndre Ayton is. Does that make sense? And when I, again, just the, the very first time I saw that clip, I wasn't even mad. I just kind of just shook my head and just said, that's so stubborn of Aiden. So arrogant. You're, you're going to eventually have to talk about Phoenix. And look, I understand you bumped heads with Monty Williams. And I always, I know that this is easy to say now, but I always had a theory that Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton did not like each other. And I thought that way back when we were like in the bubble. I was like, dude, just DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker just don't seem like they like each other. Sure, there might have been a few good moments on the court and they might have said they liked each other, the media, but I just had a feeling that they just did not like each other. And, you know, you know, you know, you know how there's the famous like Le GM, you know, LeBron James being the GM and all that. I'm not saying Kevin Durant's like this, but I 
I do get the vibe that him and KD probably didn't like each other. Sure, maybe they liked, you know, playing basketball at times with each other, but I doubt they liked each other, or maybe DeAndre Ayton would still be on this team. Um, and, and I guess my point is, is that DeAndre Ayton is, he, he just has a lot of growing up to do in the league. And I can't wait until he actually does talk about Phoenix because eventually you're going to have to. And maybe this is why we traded him. Maybe because of comments like that. And like, you know, I'm not, I don't have insider information. I'm not, I'm not behind the closed doors of the Suns organization, you know? So I don't know what happened behind closed doors. So I'll give DeAndre Ayton the benefit of the doubt with that. But like, was it really so terrible here in Phoenix, DeAndre, that you had to just say, I don't want to talk about Phoenix? You know what I mean? And what was it really that bad here, DeAndre? Like, yes, Sun's Twitter can be the absolute worst. And in people like me, like content creators and podcasters, and the media can be ruthless. But you had fans here, DeAndre. I was one of your biggest fans. I believed in you, even though I criticized you a lot. It was all criticism because we knew you could be so much better. But was it really that bad here, DeAndre? You were the first overall pick in Phoenix Suns history. You're a millionaire. You got paid a max contract. We believed in you when we probably should have traded you. And, you know, sure, you bumped heads with your head coach. But I, I don't know, man. I just, DeAndre Ayton's very stubborn. He just needs to, to grow up, man. So you guys probably think, oh, he's done talking about DeAndre Ayton now. Unfortunately, I'm not, and I'm not trying to stir the pot here, you guys. I'm not trying to sound like a uh, a lip-reading expert here, because I am far from that. But, oh, and by the way, I forgot to read this earlier. DeAndre Ayton, uh, not his best game, 23 points, 7, or sorry, 23 minutes, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. He was a... Uh, negative 11 in the plus minus. All right. So not trying to stir the pot here, but I do want to, I do want to show you guys this Maddie on Twitter. It, it's Phoenix Suns with a Z 25 uploaded this. And I thought we would just react to it real quickly. And I, and I will play this for you. So you guys can see it. We'll kind of full screen it here. I know it's like not the best quality and everything, but you know, all right. So, the original tweet was, did I just see DeAndre Ayton say F the, F the Suns? And if you kind of look closely, it kind of seems like he did. And look, so the, the, the clip is going to play slowly at first, and then it's going to, you know, uh, play in slow-mo. So here is the clip. Now watch carefully. It Kind of looks like he does say it. I'm not trying to like stir up drama here, but like it kind of looks like he says F the Suns, man. Like he adds in the man at the end. I want to hear from you guys. Like, do you guys think he said that? I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, was it really that bad here, DeAndre, that you had to say F the Suns, man? And I get it. He had a bad game tonight. You know, it was his first game against the Suns. He probably wanted to have he probably wanted to have like a big revenge game. I don't know, man. You guys tell me if I'm wrong about all this DeAndre Ayton stuff. Let me know if I'm wrong about DeAndre Ayton saying F the Suns, man. You guys let me know. I can't read you guys. You know that. I can't read. Book had nothing but positive things to say about D.A. and his former teammates. Then this bum Aiton unfollows him and refuses to speak about his time here. That is true. Uh, it was posted that DeAndre Aiton unfollowed Book and Katie and the Suns. Shout out to my guy, Matt, 
who says, yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of the same reasons that he just wasn't able to lock into a full game if he wasn't getting his touches. He still has a lot of growing up to do. Shout out to my guy, Chris, who says, what's up, geek? Can't wait for your videos for another whole season. Watching from Ireland. Appreciate you, man. Shout out to Ireland. Always stay awake for your show. Uh, the game at 6 a.m. You the man. I appreciate you, brother. Shout out to Ireland and shout out to you. Marcelo says, KD can be a lot of things, but he's not a lazy player. That's why he does don't like Aiton and Simmons. Yep. I agree with that. Keyword and all that is lazy and work ethic work ethic, which those guys don't really have. Ooh, Vision Plasma makes a good point here. Not that I'm like defending Deion Drayton here, but Deion Drayton could have said, F this shit, man. That's a good point, Vision. Shout out to you, man. DA looks tough, but still soft. I will say that one dunk that he had must have felt nice against his old team. But like after that, I think he might have like blocked a shot. I don't really remember him doing too much. I never wanted to say it when he wore a son's jersey, but Aiton seems to have a minimal self-awareness. Preach. Explains his low basketball IQ and off-the-court conduct. Let me read sort of that middle part. Aiton seems to have a minimal self-awareness. Exactly. That's what I was saying about like, Sometimes his comments to the media, like the, I'm dominating, you know what I mean? Like his self-awareness, it's like, dude, like, are you watching yourself? Are you watching your highlights from game to game? I agree with you, Logan, 100%. Matt says, yeah, I think to an extent, it's going to be a, quote, point guard slash playmaker by committee this year, and I think it will work out fine. I think how you worded that, Matt, is exactly what Frank Vogel from day one, like envisioned. Like we don't need a point guard, man. We got multiple ball handlers, multiple point guards and playmakers. Guys that can take it up the court. I agree with you. He clearly wanted to have a big prove it game today, but once he got that one flashy dunk, he fell off. Couldn't keep up with the energy. A show we've seen countless times. Thank you for bringing that up, Logan. So I listened to the broadcast and look, I, I don't know Chauncey Billups and his coaching staff very well. Uh, but one of the broadcasters did say this, that Chauncey Billups apparently said that he wants to play with a lot of up tempo and pace and, you know, running the fast break and all that. And I do remember the broadcaster saying this that he wants all of the Portland Trailblazers players up the court within three or four seconds. So pretty much like a run and gun, seven seconds or less. You know what I mean? So, you know, even though DeAndre Ayton's gotten in better shape over the years, DeAndre Ayton better get ready to run if that's how Chauncey Billups is going to be running this Blazers offense. <laughs> 